Hello everyone. Um, so today we're going to work on and I'm going to show you some basic watercolor techniques. Um, something you probably, uh, some of them you probably use in every single painting. And some just like cool little tricks here and there that you might want to use to add texture or interest. Like for example, this one over here, I did a little um, piece, I'll show this one again, with different techniques and um, textures but you see this little vest over here with the little dots that I, I those you know they're gonna be uh, such a pain to avoid if you're gonna just paint it straight on so you know masking fluid super easy dip it in and like the pupil right here masking fluid um, and that would just save you a lot of time I'm gonna do two um, layers I mean two sections of gradient here one straight up dry on paper and the other one with water. I'll just start the one dry on paper first. And they're very strong usually when you're painting. The And then all my palette, I'll start mixing the middle and then using it to blend. So this step you have to do fairly quickly. You don't want it to dry on you and then it just won't blend very well. And then you can wipe off the excess, get back to that potent red up here just to blend it in a little bit nicer on top. Now I'm going to do another one where it's also wet on wet, I just want you to see the, the ex difference compare right next to each other. And in this method, you have a lot more flexibility, a lot more time, because the paper, of course, with the first layer of water, is going to take longer to dry. So you have more time to move your paint around on your paper. You can be more flexible with it versus now see this other side. It's pretty much damp already. It's not as shiny as the other side, but that's a stage that you can't do much to it. You can't keep painting on this because you end up picking up more color than putting down. I'll show you another technique. So pretty standard if you just want to do a line here and there, you know. When you paint, make sure to know like what you're comfortable with and what hand positions you're comfortable with. For example, if you do it like this, um, movement or this direction, you can get really, really quick, straight, sharp lines. But also pay attention to what, um, where, uh, what kind of gestures you do create what kind of tips. For example, when I first put the first area where I place my brush, generally has a thicker uh, tip. So yeah, if you use the side of your brush, you can create these nice little textures. And it also depends on what brush you're using. Sometimes it will be great for landscaping, for example. Now, this part is pretty much dry. I'm just gonna remove this dot here. You can use it by using, remove these masking fluid by something called a rubber cement pickup. It's really cheap. You can get it in any art store. It's like less than a dollar probably. So I'm gonna paint this area. So first thing I do, is put water. I'm going to wet this whole area. Uh, my water is not very clean, so you can see a little bit of pigment into it, but that's okay. I'll use purple anyways. Water is your friend and your enemy? Yes, definitely. You gotta learn, learn its temperament. So put some water down. Once you filled out your area, you just drop the colors you want in, and this is so much fun in wet on wet because you can... just letting it that color spread, and you see the colors mixing on your paper with you, and you know some you know play with your gravity. Like if you don't, you like the spread of it, you want it to drip down. That's great, but if you want it like oh I don't want it to move any further, then tilt your board up, let it stay in one place. 